What is each of your names? I'm Lou Macy. <laughs> I'm Arthur King. Big Skillet. I'm Emily Johnson. Kenny. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. I'm from Alaska. Portland. Southern of Minnesota, born and raised. Cali. And what are your careers? I'm a famous YouTuber. I'm a farmer. I'm a chef. I'm an author. And I'm a rapper. How did you get into rapping? Um, uh, when I was in fifth grade, I heard a song by Lil Wayne, and I was like, I kind of like this, so I thought I could do it too, and here I am today. I got my chain, got my rolly, got them grills, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and how did you get into writing? Well, I've been a fan of writing my whole life, but when I was younger, I had a very bad traumatic experience in my life. How did you get into cooking? Well, I went to a restaurant that was supposedly great. I went there, the food was crap. So I decided to make it on my own. How did you get into farming? Well, my family's been farming for over 150 years, and I guess I was just born into it, and I really enjoyed it, and I plan to continue the tradition. And how did you get into YouTubing? Um, I was inspired by other YouTubers, such as Miranda Sings, um, Rachel Ballinger, and so on. Hey, get a real job. <laughs> Are you satisfied with your level of fame? Yes, because I like having all the fans that I do, and I make enough money that I can support me and my family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so, because um, I'm probably a really big in inspiration to some people, and I just want to help some other people out. No, because I'm not making enough money. Yes, I really love what I do. Yes, because I like to entertain people. Do you ever hate being famous? Nah, because I got tons of fans, and like I said, I'm still making money, and I got enough to support me for a while. Yo, I gotta take this real quick. Yo. Nah, dude, I'm in an interview right now. Nah, dude, I'll get you it after. You better have all my money this time. Alright. <laughs> See ya. Uh, sometimes, yeah, because uh, it can bring up some pretty sad times in my life. You know? So. Yes, because adults are coming up to me and asking me to cook for their kids' birthday parties. It makes me mad. Yeah, you know, sometimes I just I just want to plant my fields in peace. <laughs> no, because I make a lot of money, but yes, because people make fun of me. Dude, get a real job. Like that. <laughs> Are your parents and other family members supportive of your fame or career? Uh, not really, but they like it better than what I was doing before. Um, making enough money, and I bought them a house and a new car, so they appreciate it. Uh, I think they are, considering, you know, I'm a, I am a very successful writer, and, um, I just, I give them gifts every so often, so, I think they're very supportive. Of course they are, because I bring home leftovers. Yeah, my family's very supportive, because farming has been part of our family for a long time. <clears throat> yeah, my family's pretty supportive, I... They love watching me and make a fool of myself. So now we're going to play a game. The first answer is on this side, and the second answer is on that side. All right, number one. Eggs or pancakes? Taco Bell or McDonald's? French fries or salad? French fries. Gatorade or Powerade? Gatorade, dude. Powerade. Yo, what a Snapchat. I'm in this super dumb show right now. 
It's called the CSP show. <laughs> Hot dogs or hamburgers? Pop or water? Bro, pop's bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> Cake or pie? What, where's the neither at? <laughs> In the middle. <laughs> dogs or cats? Loud or quiet? Loud. <laughs> <laughs> cookie dough or cookies? White or wheat bread? <laughs> Mashed potatoes or baked potatoes? What's your favorite song you've created? Uh, Trap Money, because it talks about what I did before I started rapping, about me being in the streets and making money and hustling. What inspired you to write your first and only successful book? Um, well, my 17-year-old goldfish died, and I really needed this, uh, something to get my mind off of it. It was just really hard for me to go through that at such a young age. Chef McSkillet, what's your favorite meal to cook? Broiled octopus with a hint of curry. Johnson, what's your favorite farm equipment brand? John Deere all the way. Is that even a question? You decide on making this your full-time job. I want to make easy money and stay home with my family. Which of your guys' favorite foods? Uh, Chipotle, burrito, white rice, sofritas, sour cream, cheese, hot sauce, chips, as for a Pokeball, with sour cream and hot sauce together. It is so good. And lemonade. <laughs> um, <clears throat> probably ramen noodles, because Yo. they're uh, very easy to make and not super expensive. You basic. <laughs> My own food, because I know how to cook. Definitely pork chops, because I raise pigs. Um, pizza, because put anything on pizza. countries have you performed in? Um, 27 and a half. Um, the half is because I was halfway through a performance and some stuff went down. And I got kicked out of that country and I'm not allowed back in that country for seven more years. Why was your goldfish's death so traumatic? Um, I had him for 17 years. I watched my cat, Mr. Whiskers, tear him apart. How did your bad food experience impact how you cook today? Well, it made me realize that people can't cook, so I figured might as well just try. In your opinion, what is the most useless piece of farm equipment? I'd have to say anything Case IH. If it's red, leave it in the shed. <laughs> What's your favorite type of video to make? Challenges because you get to uh, have fun with other people. Get, Get a, a real, real job. job. It's a real job. <laughs>